Hi, and welcome to this new video. In this video, we will deal with the question, how do I know that my watch needs a service? First of all, why do watches need servicing anyway? Well, watches, and especially mechanical watches, are mechanical machines. They are basically a gearbox and an engine pretty much like any other mechanical engine too and these engines need to be clean and these engines need to be lubricated and just because watches are and watch movements are that small does not mean that they don't do a great deal of work if you think about how much a watch movement is working every single day for days and weeks and months and years on end it should be pretty clear to you that this is a mechanical marvel that needs to be looked after. And even though the materials in the watch are very, very advanced and very fine-tuned to work with each other, steel and brass and rubies for bearings, they need servicing from time to time. The most common cause in movements is actually that the lubrication is not sufficient anymore. And this typically changes the rate of the watch, so your watch either goes faster or slower. And the second reason typically is that you accumulate dust and dirt and abrasion within the watch movement, and that, in combination with the oils in the, in the jewels and bearings, creates sort of a abrasive paste that long term will damage your watch and this is why you have to get them cleaned out and re-lubricated. It's sort of like an oil change on a car but the cleaning part of that is even more essential than just replacing oil. And I want to note here that putting fresh oil on an unserviced watch is never a good idea because this will just speed up the abrasion of the movement. So what happens at a service? Very simply the movement is completely taken apart Everything is cleaned, typically in cleaning solutions and ultrasonic cleaners. Every part of the watch is then carefully inspected for damage and parts that are damaged or uh, would damage other parts in turn are then replaced. And everything is then also lubricated and calibrated so that the watch is precise and precise for a long time to come. Modern mechanical watch movements should be serviced every five to 10 years. Technology has advanced so that it can be quite different from movement to movement. One of the best examples are Seiko movements who are known to even run pretty well after 10 or 15 or even 20 years. But that does not mean that it is a good idea to have these movements run for that long. My recommendation is that as soon as you recognize a change in precision or accuracy in your watch, then you should investigate if the watch needs a service or not. If something breaks, the watch definitely needs a service because things need to be fixed. And if the watch experienced uh, stress in terms of water ingress or uh, heavy magnetic fields or very, very high temperatures, you should also check if the watch needs servicing or not. So here are five signs to look out for to figure out if your watch needs a service or not. Any change in accuracy and precision will indicate to you that something is failing or something needs attention. Typically, if, if you're very intimate with your watch and you wear it for a couple of months or even years, you sort of will have a feeling for the fact if your watch is healthy or not you you will pretty you will pretty easily recognize if something in your watch is changing if if you wear a watch every single day you will pick up on that pretty pretty easily and this is most often the the very obvious sign for you to get it in for a service the second most obvious reason is that when your watch is being unprotected in contact with water or you actually have water ingress or moisture under the glass of your movement. And this is the most dramatic thing because you will have to act very quickly. And I'm not talking about days, I'm talking literally about one day or two days that you have time to get your watch in for service. Because even though you have moisture under the glass and the moisture goes away, that does not mean that the moisture has gone away within the movement. What happens most often is that if you got humidity within the watch movement, it will cling to surfaces in the movement that are collecting water and that have materials that will very happily interact with the water, i.e. 
corrode. And this, for example, is the case in, in the pinions of movements, in the balance, or for example, if you have an older watch, the balance spring, if that is not rust protected. So if you have a mechanical watch and you have some sort of water related failure, I would get it to a watchmaker as soon as humanly possible, especially if it is an expensive watch. And drying out your opening up your watch and drying it on a hot plate or on a or drying it on a radiator will not be sufficient because these little little drops of water within the movement they will do their work and they will start to eat away at the parts in your watch movement. So this is something you have to be very very careful with. Another sign is sort of related to the first one and it is when hand winding or time and date setting starts to feel kind of funny. If it is too easy or too hard or the date is not setting entirely correctly or you feel a little bit more wiggle in the setting of the time for example, these are all signs that oils or grease is drying up or hardening out or that tolerances are not in check anymore. Uh, this is a sign that if these very robust parts do not work anymore probably other parts in the movement need attention as well and this is a sign for you to get your watch in for, for service. Another thing that tells you that the watch is due for service is when the automatic functions in a watch, for example a calendar or the automatic winding or a chronograph or something like that, if they are not working properly anymore. For example, if you sort of feel that the watch is not getting the same winding from the automatic group anymore and it does not have its full power reserve anymore, if the date at night does not change anymore or if the date change at night actually stops the watch altogether. This is also sometimes a thing when the change of date at night requires so much power from the movement that the movement does not have any more to keep the watch running and therefore stops. And this, this means that there's a lot of resistance in the movement that should not typically be there and this is a clear indication that this watch needs a service. And the last reason, and it's probably the most obvious reason, is that you should get your watch in for service or you should get your watch evaluated for service if you don't know when the last service of that watch was. And this is typically the case with heirlooms where people uh, are gifted watches from their parents or grandparents. Uh, this is also often the case with pocket watches. When they don't know when the last service was and especially if the watch was in a drawer or you know somewhere stored for a very long time, this watch is definitely due for service. Even though it is running not having it serviced will cost you a lot of money the way down the road. This also is true obviously for secondhand watches where there's no documentation left on when the last service actually was. And these are your five signs to tell you if your watch actually needs a service or not. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe if you don't want to miss out on new videos in the future. And you can also follow me on Instagram for more content. You find the link for Instagram in the video description. If you have any watchmaking related questions or if you have any ideas for future videos, feel free to comment them in the comment section down below. Thank you and I hope to see you in the next video again.